G'day guys, welcome back to another video today. Today we are at the um, North Williamstown Railway Museum. I hope, it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Enjoy! Let's drive this one, shall we? Alright guys, we're about to depart. Here's the fire. Hang on guys, I'm just going to um Alright guys, we're about to depart. Alright. All aboard! Alright, let's go to the next one. Hey guys, I'd like to show you guys this coupling. Let's just have it. Put the, um... Drive to like a matter of shall we go? Alright. Here we are, guys. Let's drive to Locomotive, shall we? There's a brake. And this is a little special ticking noise. Let's open the window. Yeah, let's go. Let's check the fire, shall we go? Alright guys, I think I got away. Here's the um the water gears the um I don't know what is this for the sand 
for dropping for the um from the fire. Um, the gears, the door. No, it's not. This is for the whistle. The gears. Another key. And yeah. And must be for the water. Apparently it's not one. And you should is and this is where they have when they want to use the light the special light when they use it in the, in the night Alright guys, we're about to go in another train. We are on the two two six eight. Here we are guys, two six eight. This is the handle. The the gear the train. What do you think they this for? What is that for? Um, a brake. Fire and the brake. And changing the water gears. Alright, guys, let's go to the carriage. There's a coal hopper where the coupling is, and let's go and have a the carriage. So here's the brake, the um where they you see, so people could transport to another carriage. I'm sorry, sure Bosses aren't going to the museum for a while. Yeah. How about this, guys? Oh, 
This is the Travis Commandment. So what is this for? Right, okay. When the trains of a night time, when they stable the trains in the sidings, yeah. all the pantographs are lowered. Now, do you know what a pantograph is? It's, up it's the thing on which comes up and makes contact with the overhead wires. Ah. Which you, you, you need to have contact with the overhead wires to get the electricity to drive the train. But you also need the electricity to drive the air compressor to, so you can get compressed air for your air brakes. Uh, okay. So when the motor, so when the motor train. comes along in the morning, that's the, it actually comes out. And it's not in there all the time. The driver will come in. He opens. The, he opens the. He's covering with the key. He gets in here, and he wow. and that pumps up the the pantograph to make contact with overhead wires. Then the air compressor kicks in, and once he's got air compressor, once he's got air, air pressure, he can um, start the. Is train. it is it really pumping? No, no, not really. But no, it's uh, yeah. But that's what that's for. So this is where you drive the train. Yeah. Um, got very simple controls, as you can see. Got an um, air brake and the timetable. Use his imagination because there's no speed up, no speed up. Mm. But he's got good visibility uh, compared with the compared with the steam loco. He can is, he can see lots of things. So to you think steam? steam. <laughs> yeah, well, they they, they coexisted side side by side. With the uh, Melbourne system yeah. was electrified in 1919, this train. and they're still using steam locomotives on in the on the country network up to the late late 60s. Yeah. So, so it's it's it takes time to change over completely. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah, there's mo you know, money's money's always a problem. But um, yeah, then. I think this, this car, this car was with this particular carriage was withdrawn in the 60s, but I can remember similar trains like this in the 1980s, maybe 1980, really? 1982. There was still a handful of them operating on the, yeah. on the network. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow! In the 80s? Yeah, I'm not quite sure when that started, but yeah, I can remember it was silver, so it's yeah, very comfortable. Yeah, you find the ticket. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. The waiters. Yeah. We're wearing white gloves. Yes. Is it? Okay, make sure you brush, brush your feet. Yes. Try and do as as we can. So, yeah. So this, this, this carriage was used on the original on the original Overland when the Overland used to run. Of course, yeah. When the Overland used to run overnight, used to be a nighttime train, uh, and it used to run. Uh, Sometimes twice twice a day in each direction. These days it just runs yeah, twice a week. So it used to run between Melbourne and Melbourne. What's in there? Oh, toilet. Toilet, yeah. Oh, no, toilet in, the, in those days. The kitchen. The, the butler's um, or the, the sleeping car attendant's pantry would have been there. Hey, they used to, they used to pull, come out. Must be broken. Uh, oh. that, that's not forcing. Oh, hey guys, look. It's a sink. Nanny, you got bunk beds here. Oh, look, it's a bed. Wow. That's terrific. And see, see what he's looking at? That's the sink. To wash your hands. Uh -huh. And that's a faucet. Wait, then you can leave him sleep there. Good night, guys. Uh, only tricking, guys. Not really sleeping. The one where you sleep so you can have a Okay. Alright guys, we're going to have a look at the oil burner N432. This is the oil burner guys. It's the, the oil. I swear they had to... One guys. This is 
Okay, four. Right. Hey guys, I got the coupling. Is J five five nine. Is the Y one three seven. Alright, that's alright.